Hey guys, uh, welcome to Efficient User. This is going to be a short video on how to uh, increase the performance of an Angular application. So, before much I talk, we can just uh, get started with the code itself. Here I have a very simple code. We have a list of uh, items and I'm just uh, displaying uh, those items in table. So, uh, we are displaying name and the points as it is and we are displaying a, a title based on the value of the points. If the point is uh, less than 1000, we are displaying it as beginner. If the everything else will be displayed as uh, expert. So in our uh, HTML code, uh, we are just uh, iterating to the list of values and displaying it. For uh, title, I am just calling the uh, get title for, uh, function. You can ask me, uh, there is no much code here. Uh, uh, where is the performance degree is happening? Let me show you. Here we have a function right uh, get title. I put a console log here as called. So uh, what I uh, did is uh, like uh, whenever the get title is getting called, we are just uh, logging it in our console. So we can see how many times it gets logged. So you can see 41. Actually, uh, one log is from Angular. So get title method is called called 40 times. But we are having only 10 values. How that uh, come happened? Let me tell you. We can just refresh uh, to make sure whether it is happening uh, all the time. Yeah, it's happening. So whenever there is a change in the component, uh, what this uh, get title method will do is like uh, uh, the Angular uh, will do the dirty check and call this uh, get title method. For example, I'm having another button here. So it is not doing anything with our uh, table actually. When I click this button, what I'm actually doing is like uh, changing this particular text to something else. So Angular will be changed to uh, there. So if I change this uh, variable value, what Angular will do is like it will do the dirty check and compare whether the uh, values available in the tables as well getting changed or not. So let me click this uh, change button. You can see the uh, console log here, how many times it's having this message. You can see it increased to 61 now. So what if, if I click multiple times? So this is how uh, we are lacking. So it is actually performs degrade. Let's consider uh, we are having uh, 100 records uh, displaying in the page using ng file. What if a, a simple text change happened which is not related to the uh, table but it is happening inside the component. Angular will do again the dirty checks and it will try to call 100, 100 of times in the background. So how to avoid this? I have an idea. What we can do is like uh, we can create a pipe. What is pipe? Let me see uh, how to create a pipe. I will put it as a rank, as a name. What the pipe will do is like a, it will get our text and transform into something else. If you are uh, displaying a value of a dollar, I am sending a number as 10. It will upon some, we can upon some value as a dollar 10, something like. So I will just delete this and copy the code from here. We can put the same console log as well. I just copy. Mm, let's see. So instead of points, we are having a argument name called value here. So let's replace it. To compare, I will just uh, comment out this code and put a pipe here. The syntax for uh, doing pipe is put the pipe symbol and the name of your pipe. I'll just format it. So now you see uh, the pipe is getting called only 11 times. I'll just uh, clear the console and I refresh once again. So as you see, uh, we are having 10 values and the uh, pipe is getting called only 10 times. So we have another check right there. What if uh, the text is changed like uh, the other options or uh, the updation happening inside the component. I'm just clicking the change message. As you see, nothing is happening. 
it's not calling the pipes so this is one of the performance improvement uh, we can do in our angular application thanks for watching we will meet in the next video